I cannot really tell you how. Probably movies, comic books, yeah. newspapers, magazines. I saw it, you know. I was curious to see how it works. It was an American sport. You get to hit a ball with a stick. So I uh, picked up a tennis ball and a stick in my backyard and tried to play with my friends. And you know, it was really fun. So after that, my dad saw I, I had interest in it and bought me a, a little baseball set. So I thought, you know, now this is serious. We can do it, you know. Mm -hmm. And soon after that, I learned that there was a little big team um, in Italy next to my hometown. So I thought I'd give it a try. And that's how it started for me, you know. Sweet. Just a little kid who wants to try something new. Awesome. See, it's not too complicated. And uh, after playing a little while, I realized I was pretty good, you know. As a ten year old you can't you can't tell if you you know, you compare yourself to the other kids and uh you see how well they're doing, how well you're doing, you know. And you know, watching baseball games on T V and baseball movies, you see, you know, that's the top level. You know, you understand that. Once you understand that that's what you wanna aim for. And the coach that I had, you know, was always a great motivator for me and he straight up said he straight up told me, you know, hey, keep playing because you, you, you're able to do great things and you know I really kept that in mind as a kid you know I'm, you can you get impressed by little even you know encouraging words by a by a coach and I really took those to heart you know and, uh, that was you know, my greater motivator and then when you know you turn teenager you start to understand really what's going on and you know no, they yeah. me as a shortstop, they're pushing me as a shortstop, and that's what I like to play right now. That's what I'm learning. While you're involved in the game, all nine innings, there is something, something's going to happen that's going to need your, you know, uh, your action. Uh, whether it is a stolen, uh, you know, covering the base and a stolen base, um, turning a double play, being a cutoff man, or making a play to first base. You're always in it. You're giving outs. You're talking. You're giving plays. And... You know, it's just all overall, you know, you're everywhere. You have to be everywhere. It's dynamic. Uh, you know, it's the player that everybody on the field is looking for. And it's an overall position that I think suits me, you know. It fits me well. You know, I can run. I can field a little bit. And, uh, you know, it's lots of fun. I really looked at playing for Team Elite as one of my biggest goals. And I actually missed on my first year. So I was... Not disappointed, but you know, not really happy about it either. So I made it, you know, a goal for myself in the second year to make it into the national team. I was successful in my first tournament was the European uh, tournament held in Czech Republic, I believe, Brno. Mm -hmm. Brno, okay. yeah. That was my first experience with the national team. We ended up winning the tournament, so that was great. You know, a great uh, introduction to what Team Elite can do and. Um, I still hold those memories very dearly, um, and made lots of friends. You know, met people from all over Italy and all over Europe, and to get to do that while playing baseball at the highest level in Europe is really, you know, a wonderful you know, experience. Really taught me a lot uh, as far as you know how the how Italian baseball is compared to the rest of the world. What we need to do to get better, because you know, Italian baseball is growing but you know still far off um, not everybody in Italy would do what we're doing here in the United States some a lot of good great players would rather just stay in Italy and you know uh, stay close to the family close to their, their hometown and uh, as you said maybe help their team get better but um, I was always very ambitious you know uh, my family raised me that way. My mom and dad were always really supportive. And um, the thing in our family is that we don't really worry about, you know, going away from home. If we have to travel, what you know, the world is big, but why not go see it? So going to play in the United States was not going to be anything difficult, you know. It was just going to be something, a new experience, something great, you know. And... I think it's worth a lot more to go and do stuff in different places than get, you know, stuck in the same spot your whole life and make, you know, the big step and give it a try to come over here and play. You know, what what is there to lose? You know, I think I I'm a believer that life is not short. Life is long. 
you get to do lots of things. So if you have to spend 10 years of your life trying to do something that you like, that's what you gotta do. You gotta, that's the most important question. Like, what do you desire, you know? Otherwise, you spend your life doing things that you don't like doing in order to go on and doing things that you don't like doing. And raise your kids to do the same. And, you know, baseball gives you a chance to do all that. Baseball gives you a chance to travel not only over Europe and Italy, but all over the world. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it just for that, you know. Even, I love the game, but the, tra the fact that it makes you travel and, you know, learn all those different cultures is just the icing on top. Basically, it's so engraved in American culture that even kids would know uh, more specific plays, you know, or strategies that you apply in, uh, you know, professional baseball, like when to bunt, when to put a double steal, when to uh, tag with how many outs, you know, all that stuff. Uh, in Italy, yes, there is people who know exactly that, and in Europe, of course, but the majority of people learn the game learn the surface of the game and they don't dig any deeper really but here you know you are 24 hours full immersion into baseball you learn all the secrets and you get to play with people who know all the secrets so everything flows together better you know all the games go you know how they should go you know all the plays everybody can anticipate what the play is and in the end you know the games are played at a higher level more consistency. Uh, I'd say I got stronger, you know, uh, definitely more confident in my defense. Um, you know, learn how to run the bases, uh, how to look for the little things that can give you advantages, and all that stuff comes with, you know, playing uh, higher level games and, you know, playing years and, uh, again, just good competition, you know, stuff that you learn playing. And I think, yeah, that's a big difference. Well, Starting with the closest ones, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, spring training healthy and strong and ready for the season, of course. Uh, start the season with a little bit more consistency, you know. Now I know how to deal with a longer season, so uh, um, yeah, definitely, you know, get through those little moments that used to bother me and like bring me down. Maybe I think that I should be able to deal with them better this year, and that's going to impact my game in a better way. And just overall improve just the consistency of the game. That's all you need. You know, the most consistent players are the ones that are going to get to the big leagues. So just keep going at the, the way I'm doing at a steady pace. You know, don't slow down. Keep myself healthy. That's all there is. No. Just make your own luck. You, know, you, you got communication is the most important thing. Not only when you don't know about something, even if you do know about something, you know, just ask for a different opinion. It's going to, you know, direct you in a completely different, you know, view or perspective. And in baseball especially, you know, there's so many coaches and everybody has a different view on the matter. If you can get all of them and analyze them and see what the best is for you, your chances of succeeding are much, that much higher. And the same goes for, you know, learning or understanding what what to do after high school, you know, what do I want to do, like, ask, ask people, uh, you know, where do you want to go live, what do you, everything, ask people, you know, more experience, less experience, just ask for opinions, you know, and then analyze, you don't have to listen, you know, and just do exactly what they say, but, you know, everybody's intelligent enough to try to make a difference and, you know, choose with their own guts. General Manager Dayton keeps saying, you know, that they are here to develop us as people first. You know, they want us to become good men, good brothers, good husbands and fathers. Eventually, this is his own words. Obviously, you know that's a great message. I think you know to it's part of not taking yourself too seriously as a baseball player. There's many you know more important things that you should care about, and to understand that as a baseball player, you know, it just humbles you and you know just takes a little weight off of you and you know, just you're gonna be a better baseball player if you're a better man that's you know that's the gist of it so I am looking forward to study of course after baseball uh, probably languages you know I kind of have a head start uh, but also you know history I want to travel I don't want to get I, wa I don't want to stay the world's so big I, I, I gotta see all of it you know I'm gonna try at least 
So if I'm fortunate enough to have, you know, the flexibility to be able to travel that much, then for sure travel. Uh, otherwise, I'm looking to stay involved into baseball no matter what. Um, and yeah, those are the vague kind of projects that I have mm -hmm. for after baseball right now. I'm pretty focused on baseball. Doesn't have to be baseball. Can be baseball. Can be anything in the world that you think is important. Uh, don't take yourself too seriously. That's all. I try not to. <laughs> Sometimes I fail. It's okay. Try again tomorrow. Yeah, I'll live tomorrow's problems to tomorrow's me. <laughs> <laughs>